everybody Ann here, just sitting here in front of the chicken yard, in front of my beautiful pallet garden that's growing very well. And it's a beautiful sunny day outside today, so it's going to be a great day. But there have been some developments in the chicken department. Miss Pris left the nest early today. She got out again. Two of her baby chicks got out in the van coop, but that's okay. They were back in the little wired mesh area. And it looks like she's wanting to stay out with them all day and nobody's chasing her around. Knock on wood. Would you just look at all these greens? They're all over the yard. <laughs> that is so cool. So, since all the girls have laid their eggs, I think I'm just going to let her out to free range with the other girls and see how it goes. Look at that. Hmm. What do you think, guys? Think they've accepted her back? Gosh, these poor birds get so dirty when it gets muddy out here. Yeah, so I'm going to let her free range with the rest of the flock and we'll see if she comes back or she just hangs out with them all day. Okay, pretty chickens. Y'all want to go out? Look at Miss Pris. She's so happy. She gets to come out and play. Out we go. All right, everybody. You be nice to Miss Pris, okay? I think she's relieved. So we'll see if she goes back to her chicks later tonight. Chicks are going to be plenty warm in that van. They know where to find food. They know where to find water. So Mama taught them well. The only thing at night, it's still going to be getting down a little bit too cool at night. So I'm thinking that, uh, oh, look at that. If she decides she doesn't want to go back in the back part and she's just staying out, I may go ahead and put that little heating mat in there and hook it up to a uh, extension cord. But we'll just play it by ear, see how it goes. Look at she's just going with them. guys she has laid me two eggs up in here I had no idea they were in here let's see if they're warm I mean I know one of them's not going to be warm neither are warm look at she has started laying eggs again 
I'm back in the back with the baby chicks right now. They're all hiding from me, but I'm going to see if I can get some footage of them. So I don't know. I don't know if I should just play it by ear, see if she comes in here at night and wants to sit with the little girls. And then I'll just have to remember to check in the nesting box to see if she's laying any eggs. Or, um, I don't know. If I should just let her stay out and because I can't leave this this open I have to leave it shut so that the other ch chickens won't get in and hurt the little the little girls so I don't know I got some thinking to do but I'm gonna see if I can wrangle some of these chickens out here so you can see them they're so cute this is gonna be a little bit hard to do because they're still scared of me but this one I think this is a barred rock yep it's got the yellow feet but the thing is is he's had this little white spot on the back of his head. I don't know if this is a, that indicates a he. I had read that it does. Uh, so I don't know if this is a he or a she, but she, sh he or she <laughs> sure is pretty. It's okay. I gave him some scrambled eggs. Look at, they've got a lot of feathers already. So look at those feathers. What do you think guys? It's okay, sweetheart, it's okay. Lots of feathers already. Oh no. All right. Here you go. Here, have some nummies. <laughs> They've made it a mess of it. Yeah, I've started giving them some, some grit too. All right, let's see if I can get another one out. For whatever reason, these next few clips were totally sped up. Once again, I hit something on the camera and it started going real fast, so we're just going to go with it. <music> has decided to stay out with the flock all day long and so I've made some adjustments I've made an executive decision and that is that this is going to go back in to that coop over there and I'm not I, I think I'm going to try and prevent Miss Pris from getting back in here because she was acting really stressed and she was panting and she was squawking and all that kind of stuff. So I have a feeling that she has just kind of, you know, decided she wants to be back with the flock now and start laying eggs again. So we're going to put that little heat mat back there. Well, it is 6 p.m. and Miss Pris has not shown a single desire to go back in by her baby chicks. So I guess it's going to be them in the brooder by themselves tonight. That's okay. You know what? She did good for almost three weeks, almost three whole weeks, and I think she was just done. She's a young hen, and she's inexperienced, so, but at least she hasn't attacked any of them. Check this out. They're taking dust baths right there, and I just made them a beautiful dust bath with sand, diatomaceous earth, uh, wood ash, and whatnot. Maybe they just don't understand it yet, but hopefully they'll all go back up into that thing because in the back is that little heat pad. If they don't, I'm gonna have to assist them. So I won't be able to film that because it'll be kind of dark in here. But I don't know if you can see some of them. That's not schmung on their feathers, that's little black feathers. But they'll do just fine back here. I think that they're gonna be just fine. I'm not mad at Miss Pris. Nope, she did a good job for almost three weeks. I know that's a little bit short, but Here's the thing, those chicks, they've got 50% of their feathers on them now. And I've got the heat mat, it's gonna be okay. It's actually gonna be easier for me to keep her free ranging with the rest of the flock so I can monitor the baby chicks and not be attacked by a mini raptor. <laughs> anyway, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. They all came up here by themselves. Good. And that mat is nice and warm. They're gonna be just fine. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.